<laughs> so welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. As um we are here today and I was on on Facebook as you can see. I found this interesting post from in the loop. And I'm gonna quote it here. So it enhances the liquidity. Six Flags is taking proactive steps to stress its capital spending for calendar year 2020, including deferring or eliminating at least 40 to $50 million of discretionary capital project plan for 2020. And originally at the time, they said that now the new for 2020 projects that have been removed are from these parks, but he issued an update and he said, these are the rides I can see on the mobile site. Some are still on the desktop site. So I decided to check for myself. And every ride is still there except Discovery Kingdom. So when you click that link, this link right here, you get to this page. And it shows the six pack stock price. It's <laughs> rather low, but it went up $1.85 yesterday. And there's the whole article about it. And they are, um, doing all these things, again, cutting uh, a few million dollars in capital projects. One of the things they're cutting, it looks like, is Discovery Kingdom. So on here, on the new for 2020 page, this is also from this site. Go up here, you click here, you get new for 2020. It becomes into this page. And I have every ride here that was announced. When you click on it, it says access denied. And here's the Discovery Kingdom's website. And on every other Six Flags website um, uh, for the different parks, in this section where it says rides, it says new for 2020, and it shows you what's coming in this year. Except for Discovery Kingdom, of course, when you click here, it says access denied. Whereas if you were to click on, let's say, Paradise Harbor or Hurricane Harbor, you get what get ready for the new paradise island the ultimate this. family the advertisement is coming to the page and if you click uh here for catwoman whip you see feel the lash of so it looks like sidewinder safari has been cut from six flags discovery kingdom here now not sure why they decided to only do um seem they only seem to cut this coaster um <laughs> from the ones <laughs> that I checked maybe because it's not even under construction yet who knows but Sidewinder Safari is just a a uh, regular wild a spinning wild mouse wild mouse coaster you find out at a local carnival anyway so it's not like they're cutting the greatest thing ever yeah that'd be much like more shocking if Jersey Devil was like um cut but just devil is already well well into construction but every other ride is still happening here not that many a lot of them happen with water park additions and who knows if water parks would even be able to be open this year but out of the theme park additions looks like side runner safari has been cut <laughs> what do you guys think about this what other rides do you think might be late cut um, from these Six Flags parks? No, a lot of them are pretty simple. They're not major coasters only. The major you know, spending here is Jersey Devil Coaster. The rest, the other, and second like most intense coaster would be you know, VPR, which is this Green Lantern being shipped over. So that's it's not even like that. To, pay for custom parts for that because they're just shipping them over. Um, and the rest are just flat rides. They're rides, but flat rides. So it looks like, um, and there's just water slides. So it looks like the most intense thing, uh, the best coasters obviously still happening for Six Flags Good Adventure. But what else do you expect to be cut, if anything? And for you Discovery Kingdom fans, what do you think about this news? Do you not care? Are you excited for this OK edition? Or let me know your thoughts below. And what do you think with Six Flags is um Six Flags is like 
so again, budget situation, I'll link up above how they could potentially be bankrupt by 2024 if some actions are not done. So comment your thoughts below. Um, let me know what you think of the situation and have a fantastic weekend.